Shalom. Last time we're going to praise and glory to you. How by Shem, you know, Shah by Shem, Kakadash. The bombs of the apostle is a great millstone. So I teach it all for that. This pushing is truth. Quad fuck comes over to Sarah uh, Trudy. This is the brother I'm one about from Birmingham Camp Alabama, Jim Mess. Don't get to this quit sentence going to about how America, uh, which is Babylon, the greatest scriptures, is going to be touched. Um, it's going to be touched by the Lord. You know, the Lord's going to bring. First, you know, before the nuclear, ultimately, you know, before the nuclear missiles, and um, before the Lord returns to destroy this place in America, he is gonna get, he's gonna get touched by plagues. The Lord gonna send plagues, you know, famine, you know, um, you know, economic fa failure to this place. Uh, Y'all already seen the um, infrastructure of this place crumbling, and you know, every time they try to build or you know, try to. Every time they try to repay the roads and something like that, it always another pothole pops up somewhere here and there on the road, you know. You no, know, just you know, that's just a sign of the Lord, you know. It's gonna, it's gonna bring this place down soon, you know. It ain't too long, so you know, in uh, America this place has never been touched by any type of war, you know. Anything catastrophic, you know, except for like, you know, the storms, yeah. You know, Lord send those two storms, you no know, tempest. But ultimately, for like, but for like, like major, like events, like you know, like I said, uh, like I said, uh, you know, uh, like plagues, for like food shortages, you know, um, economic failure, or you know, people can't, you know, cash, you know, the dollar collapse, you know, um, you know, this place is in general just going out of, you know, out, out, you know, the Lord taking the place out, you know, before you know he's sending nuclear missiles, you know, before he returns, so. I'm just gonna start off with Revelation 18:4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that you be not partake, be not partakers of her sins, and that you and that you see not of her plagues." So yeah, so this boy, you know, and 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 you no, know, we warned warned our people, so called Negro Latino natives, you no know, return back to the Lord, you know, get out the wickedness of America, get out the philosophies and the ways of America, come back. Repent, you know, come back to the Lord, you know, and you know, and follow the Lord's uh statute laws, statute of commandments. To your best ability, you know, you know, we can't follow all the laws, can't keep all the laws coming out, you know, we're in our captivity, but keep the basic ones, you know, you know, just come back and um uh, come back, you know, you know, in a sincere spirit to the Lord, you know, repent from the ways of this world, you know, and come back to the how to know how to come back to the ways of the Lord, you know, and you know, and you know, and you know. You know, being in righteousness, you know, in a righteous spirit. But um but you know, how we doing how we telling our people that, you know, on the highways about ways on the positive elders. Positive elders for years been telling our people, so called nigga Latin natives, and the Lord's gonna bring destruction to destruction to the place in America by way of thumb nigga mills, but ultimately you know, like I say, you know, the plagues, you know, food shortages, all our anarchy is gonna come to this place, um, gonna be in this place in America. So, you know, it's, it's, that's coming. So you know that's 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 what's gonna come to this place, in America. Cause like I say, you know, this place, this place, in America has not never been touched by any type of a war, you know, anything that you know major. But it's coming. So in this verse, Revelation eighteen five, for her sins have reached reached it unto heaven, and the Most High have re remember her iniquities. So yeah, the sins of this place, in America, is reached up to the heavens of the Most High. You know, the Most High, Yahweh Shai, remember her iniquities. Remember the, what the the damn devil, so called white people, had done to the so called Negro Latino natives, you know, you know, during the time of slavery and, you know, rape, rob, and murder, you know, the natives, you know, to the native, to the, to the land, to the land away from the natives, this, this land right here, you know, called America, you know, and so forth, you know, all the wickedness, all the wickedness that they doing now, up to now. And the Lord, is is as recorded and remember everything that the so called white man has done to the children of Israel, to the Israelites and to the world, you know. So the Lord's gonna bring the ultimate destruction by fire by way of nuclear missiles, you know, and burn is gonna burn this place up, you know. So uh next verse, Revelation eighteen six, we world reward her even as she rewarded you, double unto her double and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she had filled, it filled to a double. So yeah, you know, you, you damn devil, you so-called white people, not gonna get double what you had done, you know. You know, America, you know, the destruction, 
It's gonna come. It's gonna be um this this destruction of salvation is gonna be way more way more uh destruction gonna be way more worse and the uh, salvation gonna be more greater than than the Egypt when the Lord delivered the Israelites out of Egypt, which is um really is Mizraim Mizraim, you know. No, it's really you know Mizraim in the Hebrew. But um but yeah, you know, the Lord's gonna bring um uh, ultimate destruction to this place in America. You know. It's gonna be double onto you damn devils when, when uh <clears throat> we take you damn elites, you know, you top echelon, you know, you you uh, elite bankers and so forth into uh, to slavery. Y'all gonna get double punishment with you you know, double what you did to the so called Israelite. Not the so called Israelite to the Israelites, to the children of Israel, you know. For all the wick for all the wickedness you've done and so forth. All the oppression you had done to the children of Israel, the children of the most high the Israelites, so called Negro Latino natives, you know, you're gonna get double for what you had done. <clears throat> so in this verse, Revelation eighteen seven, how much she had glorified herself and lived it and lived it deliciously, so much torments and sorrow give her for she has said in her heart in her heart, I sit a queen and I am no widow <clears throat> and, and shall see no sorrow. So So um so the torment that's gonna come, and, and, you know, this down this place, you know, has not seen no type of, you know, I say no major catastrophic events, you know, like I say, you know, no, no, a um, uh, few food shortages, no, no, no anarchy chaos has not broke out, and in, in this place, America, you know, the ultimate financial collapse is gonna come, and so forth, you know. Lord, well, finna bring it. It's gonna bring it soon, you know, soon to come. Going forward, cause it's not gonna be like this every day. It's not gonna be where, you know, you freelance and, you know, and do this and do that, you know. It's Lord finna bring this shit down. And I just hope, you know, me, myself, you know, I'll be part of knowing the brothers on labor with, you know, Apostle on Elders on down there, you know, Lord have mercy. You know, that, you know, he get us through what's about to come, even now. What we're gonna, brothers going through now, you know, get forward, we can go, um, get past what, um, get, um, Slock in the world, I say, Lord, you know, bring us through the fire, <clears throat> bring us through the you no know, trials and tribulation of faith, you know, that's you know, gonna test us going forward, you know, to tell you know, the brothers got to face death, or you know, you know, the brother, brothers be delivered, you know, from the Lord, but the, you know, into the chariots, which our people call, which our people call UFOs, are, are the chariots of the Lord. But the Lord's gonna bring sorrow and destruction to this damn place, America, man. You know, I keep on saying, you know, this place has not been touched by nothing major. No, no, no major on uh, warfare, no type of destruction, no nothing. And it's gonna come. <clears throat> the Lord Yahweh is gonna bring it to this to this um wicked ass kingdom, man, to this place. It's God it's God for second place, America, man, to this bitch America. You know. So um see that one goes to this verse. So yeah, I was in finished off Revelation eighteen and eight. Therefore shall players come in one day death. Morning and famine, and shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord, the Most High. For, for strong is the Lord, uh, power who judge her. You know, the Lord Yahweh shall power who judge her. So, so like I say, you know, this this was, this was coming. You know, and one day death, morning, famine, early early be burned with fire, which is gonna be the nuclear missiles, the thermonuclear missiles, and by the chariots of the Most High too, by the chariots of <clears throat> by the chariots of the Lord. Which, you know, the UFO is gonna. And the laser beams gonna shoot shoot down, you know, in this place too, and and um, zap people. Gonna be zapping people as well. Then ultimately, the nuclear missile is gonna put the icing on this cake. You know, burn this bitch up, man. Burn this bitch up, America sky high. You know, and the smoke gonna be up all the way up out out the atmosphere, man. Once the Lord, you know, <clears throat> bring this destruction, bring the destruction to America. So you know, I ain't wanna make it too long. So um, you know, I just wanna go to that. So uh. Um, with that, um, again, like give our praise to Yahweh Bashan, Rashad Bashan, Kakadash, to the Apostle Elders, to the Sisaki brothers, to the few Aqua sisters that do listen. Keep the faith in Yahweh Shah, keep fighting with that. Say Shalom.